Sad and everybody, boy Big Brando, and today we're about to knock out a bunch of sample pack orders and then also knock out some of that new complaint department merch. Talk about that in a little bit. All right, first of all, shout out to everybody picking up the sample packs. These things right here are moving like crazy and it's super dope. The reason why I made the sample packs is strictly for anybody that was on the fence about ordering transfers, specifically the transfers that I personally and currently use. A lot of people see the videos on me pressing with transfers. A lot of people hit me up about transfers. A lot of people are on the fence because they're not too sure what the quality feels like. And then also they're not too sure how the pricing works. And then also what it's like to actually press them down. So I created the sample pack because I wanted people to actually experience the transfer before they place any orders. So if you were on the fence about doing some multicolor stuff and you're like, hey, I wanna order some, who do you use for multicolor? A lot of you guys see the super color videos and you're like, all right, let me just get some super color. But it always makes sense to test things out before you place the order. And I say that because sometimes you might have a hard time pressing these transfers down. So since it could get a little bit difficult uh, pressing transfers down, not being sure how they lay down or how to lay them down, what I did was I put it on the packaging. So for every single sample that you get, you're gonna get multiple samples in a bag. It's gonna have a direct link where to order the samples from. And then also it's gonna have the manufacturer's recommended instructions. This is what comes on the packaging for any transfer that you order. They're always gonna supply some sort of instructions. So that's on the label. Also what's on the label is what settings work for me. So every single press is different. Most of you guys have clamshell manual presses like myself. You adjust the pressure by the knob, that right there could get a little tricky. But also adjusting the temperature, duration time, all that stuff plays a big part in laying these things down perfectly. So what I included was the settings that work for me and then also the recommended settings for them. So the settings that work for them is what works on their press that they have in-house at their shop. What works for me is the press that I have here that works for myself. Now, if you didn't need this information or if you're like, man, I could just get sample packs from any transfer company I want, by all means, go for it. Just Google Plastisol Transfers, order some sample packs from them. The reason why I created this was because people always want to know exactly what companies I use, what ink formulas I use. So the sample pack has all of that information for you guys. So I appreciate everybody that's been picking these things up because I know the information is going to good use. Like I said, every single transfer that I use, every single ink formula has a direct link on the packaging so you could place your orders and then order the same exact ink formulas that I use, all that stuff. All right, now, outside of all of that, if you guys have been following me on Instagram, Big Brando TV, you might have seen me post a bunch of stuff about the complaint department. And the merch is finally here. There it is right here, complaint department. This is the official Big Brando merch. A lot of people been hitting me up asking, hey, where can I buy some stuff from you? Where do you sell your stuff? Do you have merch? I always thought it was kind of weird if I just released stuff that had my little YouTube logo on it or something like that. That to me just seemed kind of corny. So I said, why not just create something that everybody could wear and call it the complaint department. Now, why did I call it the complaint department? Because I get a lot of complaints in my comments. There's always people in the comments talking shit. I really don't give a fuck. So for me, I said, hey, might as well just make it the complaint department and the content that I'm gonna build around it is just people's complaints. So if you follow Big Brando TV, you might see me post it in the stories. Or if you follow the complaint department on Instagram, you'll see me posting a lot of negative comments and stuff like that. For me, personally, I don't give a fuck about any of that because it doesn't affect me personally. It's always people complaining about why not just buy a DTG printer or why not just buy a white toner printer or why do you use a heat press? Why don't you just screen print or why do you Shopify? They charge $30 a month or why do you use Photoshop and Illustrator? They charge X amount of dollars a month. There's always somebody complaining about something. So for me, it's all about stop complaining, start getting that money. You know what I mean? A lot of these people 
like to get into the comments and complain. One, it might be because I'm giving up information that they want to keep a secret. That's a given. Two, they might be complaining and getting mad because I'm doing something that they're not doing. You know what I mean? So if they have a DTG printer, they feel that the DTG printer is perfect for them. But I'm using transfers and a heat press. That's what works for me. They want me to talk about a DTG printer because they want them to feel like that investment was the best investment ever and I should be talking about that. That's not how it works. I only talk about what I know. I only talk about what I use daily. So I'm not gonna be over here telling you get a white toner printer, get a DTG printer and all this other stuff because I don't use that stuff daily. So for me, I'm gonna talk about this Cameo Plus because that's what I use daily. I'm gonna talk about this Heat Press Nation Signature Pro because that's what I use daily. I'm gonna talk about transfers because that's what I use for all my brands and that's what I use daily. You know what I mean? So don't get mad get money. You know what I mean? That's like the big, uh, if you haven't noticed, that's what it's all about. So if you want to get down with the complaint department and if you don't give a fuck about what people say and you don't care about complaint, fuck with the complaint department, man. I got these shirts. I got hoodies up there. I'm going to have some hats up there. I'm just going to start flooding all kind of stuff on there for the people that want it. If you don't want it, by all means, don't even go there. You can find it on bigbrando.com. I'll probably leave a link at the bottom of this page if you wanted to pick some stuff up. But like I said, it's only for the people that wanted merch. There's not too many people out there that's like, hey man, I've been waiting for Big Brando's merch. There's a handful of people that actually give a fuck about that kind of stuff. So if you care, it's going to be on there. Bigbrando.com is where you can find anything complaint department related. If you wanted to be down with the complaint department, follow us on Instagram. And also the complaint department Instagram isn't for YouTube questions and stuff like that. It's just to show all the merch and it's just to build the content around the brand. That's all it is. If you have questions, leave it on Big Brando TV. That Instagram right there, any question you have, leave it on there. Chances are I'm gonna get back to it. You know what I mean? So if you wanted to follow up and see some of these negative comments that I like to highlight, I'm not shouting nobody out either because I'm not giving no motherfuckers no shine on my platform but I am taking their text and putting it up on Instagram so people could see how dumb some of these comments are, all right? I'm gonna get to pressing some stuff up right now. Appreciate everybody for watching. Appreciate everybody for jumping on. This is gonna be a really quick, short vlog, but I just wanted to update everybody with what's going on because there might be some people that's confused about what the hell is the complaint department? Why does it keep tagging this page? Why does it keep doing the shit, all right? Peace.